Hi everybody, so we have a question here. This is a, uh, this is a financial mathematics question. They say the sum of uh, 1000 is during 5 months. So this amount which is going to be accumulated in 5 months, okay, from now. So that's the amount that's going to be accumulated. Okay, simple interest we have which is 12% per annum. A simple interest rate right here. Simple interest rate per annum. And this amount accumulated. And they say uh, now what the one the one the present value or in other way the principal. So see if it's simple interest, so we can write our data down. So we have a amount A, which is one thousand. So I can just simply write down what I have. I'll say okay, my amount I have amount equal to one thousand. One, two, three, and then interest rate also I have in time. Our time is n equal to five months. By the time it has been years, so you have to change this month to years. Means I'll say 5 over 12, and this can be in in years. So this is a time which we are given. The interest rate, if you come careful here, what's the interest rate is 12%. See, the interest rate is 12%, 12%. So we write our interest rate 12%. So interest rate equal to 12 or 12%. 12 or you can write this as a 12 over 100. And this simple interest rate. And the one, the amount which is going to be present value in other way there is the principal the one see this one here present value so this is very easy i can do it in, in a minute so i'll say okay so the formula for simple interest rate is say amount equal to principal one plus interest rate or interest rate times time or you can use n or t okay so this interest rate must be over 100 either you can write over over 100 like that or you can write a simple interest rate so it's okay well, amount we have which equal to 10,000. So here we say 1, 2, 3 equal to this. What we're looking for present value, principal, the amount that we use to invest the money. Interest rate we do have. What is interest rate? It's 12%. Either you can write it as 12%, you can write 12 over 100, whichever you prefer. Okay, let's write 12 over 100. How long? Oh, five months. So if we change to years because time has been years. So what we can do now, we can just find the value of P. So to get a value of P is very easy. So what I'll do. I'll just plug, I'll just simply plug that in the calculator. I can just say make P the subject. So make P the subject is the easy way. I'll just say, okay, divide throughout by 1 plus 12 over 100 times 5 over 12 because I want the value of P both sides, this side and this side. So this one it must be written here. So 1 plus the space is very small, but I'll try to write it. Okay, 12 over 100 times 5 over 12. Okay, so this and this cancer. So the value of P equal. So check your calculator. Let me show you to plug in the calculator. Some students sometimes they don't know how to plug in the calculator. So come in my calculator. So okay, fraction, fraction. Okay, fraction is fraction. Is there is a one thousand? Okay, come and see. One thousand over. Right your bracket one plus. Okay, fraction, fraction. And then we got what we got. Twelve on top. Twelve times five. And then over 100 times 12. Okay, come here, close the bracket, and get the value. So that's our value, but we must change it to SD. So SD, press there. So it's going to give us 9, 5, 2, 38, whatever, 38, da, 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 okay. So if you approximate in two decimal places, then it's going to be 9, 5, 2, 38. So principle, the amount has to be invested is 9, 5, 2, 30, 8, zero nine whatever but i want two decimal places so we're only going to check what this value this number is very small so we cannot change so now we come to the option here if you come to the option that's going to be the option number one so option number one is our answer right here this is our answer okay now let's go to question number five question number five is way easy question number five let me scroll down a little bit okay so question number five they say uh the accumulated amount that you receive after 52 months so our time is 52 months oh so let's write our time okay if you deposit into account so we have a principal which is seven three hundred in accounts interest rate okay so let's write down the data okay so i don't need this anymore so i'm going to take a new page just a second i'll write my data here so we come here, what do we have in equation to five, okay? They say uh, we have an accumulated amount which of oh, 52 months over time. Our N equal to 52 months. 
So this it has to be changed in years because we don't want time in month. So we're going to say 52 divided by 12. You know why? Because they are for to change month to years, you have to divide by 12. Okay, so this can be in, in years. Okay, so that's our time. Now they say if you deposit 73,000, so we have a principal into account or interest rate, we have a 9.7. Oh, so deposit, we have a principal. What is the principal? 73,000, and interest rate we have equal to 9.70%. Okay, now they say this is compounded. How is this compounded? Compounded every second month. Every second month. So let, let, let me show you a trick because this trick is very, very important. So how is this compounded? Every second month. Let me write here. Compounded. So you're going to have to use this from now to the end. Compound. So compound interest. This is how happened. Okay. So for you to remember this trick here, let me use another color. So how do you remember compound? The easy way to remember compound is just say, okay, how many in one year? Remember this trick, how many in one year or in a year? For example, if somebody tell you it was compounded daily, daily, you know how you say? You say, how many daily in one year? How many daily in one year? 365. Oh, so we're going to use 365. Remember that. It was compounded, let's say weekly. Oh, so if this it was compounded weekly, ask yourself how many weeks in one year? Oh, there's a 52 weeks in one year. So we're going to use 52 weeks. It was compounded uh, monthly. How many months in one year? 12. So we're going to use oh, 12. This is very, very crucial. Never forget this because in exams, it's not going to be the same. It was compounded, uh, let's say, annually. So how many annual one year? Annual means one year. So it's going to be one. It was compounded uh, every three months. Every three months. Okay. So how many three months in one year? Four. See? So it's going to be what? We're going to use four here. You see? So you got to remember this. Okay. Two more. Let me write some more. It was compounded uh, every four months. Okay. Every four months. Four month. So you come, you say, okay, how many four months in one year? There are three. It was compounded quarterly. Quarterly, there are four quarters in one year. You know why? Because in one year, there's a 12 months. So if you take 12 months, you're going to divide by three, 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 three. So when they say quarter, means it's going to be what? Four months. It was compounded uh, every six months. How many six months in one year? Two. It's going to be every six months. Every six Month. Okay, so now let's go back to the question. So the question they say it was compounded for every second month. How many every second month in one year? How many two in one year? Oh, there are six because it's going to be two, 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 two. Or in other ways, say, or in one year, there's a 12 months. So how many two? Because they say every second. It's going to be what? It's going to be six, two in one year. Oh, so now let's go to the question. So now they say it was compounded what? Every six months. So this is compounded interest. You know why? Because here they say here it was compounded, compounded. But at the previous question, it was simple interest. So since this is just compounded, meaning is a compound interest. So we're gonna use another formula, not the same as we use here. This can be another formula. So which formula is there? I'll show you now. Very easy formula. So the formula is here for compound is amount equal to principal, and they say one plus. Write your interest rate and then multiply by time. Time now is going to be outside, not like simple. Simple interest is going to be here inside. So now what we do, what, okay, what, what do they want? See, the one day, they, the amount that you're going to receive after 12 months. So they're looking for A. So they're looking for A. Everything is here, so we have. So we're going to say we're looking for A. Everything is, we have P, we have everything. So it's an amount equal to, what is the principal? Principal equals 73,000. One plus what is the interest rate? Our interest rate is nine point seven, but we can say this equal to nine point seven over hundred. So I can say over hundred, and then I'm gonna multiply. The space is very small, so I'm gonna override. Okay. So this is gonna be our interest rate, but do not forget this. You see. 
So when you finish write your interest rate, make sure underneath how it was compounded. They say it was compounded for every second month. Look here. About every second month. So we say, how many every second month in one year? How many every second month in one year? Oh, every second month, there are six in one year. Because you say 12 divided by 2. So this is going to give us all 6. Because every second in one year is going to be what? 6. So here is the interest rate underneath you, div you multiply by that number, which is 6. You know that number which is compounded. They say it is compounded every two months, which is six meaning. Because say two in 12 months is six. And then here in time, you multiply by the same thing. So how many how many years? Years is what is? 52 over 12. 52 over 12. So we're going to say 52 over 12. See? And then you must multiply how it was compounded. How it was compounded? Six. You know I say six right now. By right now you should be able to understand. You see what I'm saying? So the trick is, make sure you divide here under interest rate here. You divide here and then you multiply by the same thing here. Can you see that? You divide how to compound it by 6 and then here you multiply by 6. If you think you're going to forget, better be right before. Like say, divide by 6 and then multiply by 6. You divide under I and then you multiply by time. So what we can do here, we can just simply plug in a calculator and get one answer. Simple like that. Or if you don't want, you can just simplify first. You can say amount equal to seven three double zero and they say one plus nine point seven just nine point seven and this gonna be six hundred okay by six one how many six in twelve they just saw two so fifty two over two equal to twenty six but there's no need for that in exam you can just plug it straight away so what we're gonna do we just come in the calculator we say okay uh seven three double zero and they come in write your bracket and they say one, one plus plus nine point seven fraction, fraction nine point seven over. Okay, let me write this on hundred. Like an exam, you don't want to have the time to do it over and over. Okay, and they come here bracket. Oh, you, if you don't want, you can plug six hundred. Okay, and they come to the power here. Power what? Power. So power. Uh, say what? Twenty six. So you can just simply say bracket fifty two times fifty two times fifty two face fraction. 52 over uh, 12, and then you multiply by 6. Okay, so then this is going to give you answer. So your answer is going to be 11, 11076. Okay, 11076.73. Okay, because we're going to approximate this to one decimal place. Okay, so our answer is going to be amount is going to accumulate after 52 months, it's going to be uh, 1, 1. Zero six zero six okay zero seven six point seven three because this six is gonna change the previous number because this six is more than five so this amount is gonna be accumulated in sixty months so we come in an option so this is gonna be option number it's option number three this one right here thank you thank you so much Mr Hamish thank you and wish you all the best with your hard work and just, I just want to say we appreciate you and uh, we have, I have achieved like 93% Samarani, 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 Samarani This is who am I, I'm going to go and kiss this one I live in Devon in Kwasulu Natal and I was born in Kwasabisa in Kwasulu Natal Everyone, this is Uketa Renovalo from A. Johannesburg Emitrin. I'm studying through E. I would like to thank Mr. Hamish for helping us so, so much. We have actually got 90 to 100 percent on that. Thank you so much, Mr. Hamish.
first, I just want to say we appreciate you, and uh, we have I have achieved like 93 percent. Samarani, Samarani, Samarani. This is who am I? I'm not gonna run kids as well. I live in Devon in KwaZulu Natal, and I was born in KwaZulu Natal.